today we're going to work on conversion and we're going to be converting units of measure and specifically with weight. Notice that I have pounds and this is the way you abbreviate pounds, LB, and for, for one pound there are 16 ounces and this is the abbreviation for ounce. And so for one ton the abbreviation is T and there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. All right, so here's a couple quick examples. If you have five pounds and you want to convert that to ounces, look at your chart and you're gonna use the pounds to ounces. Now, a pound is more than an ounce because there's 16 ounces in a pound. So we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. We're going to multiply, okay? So all you do, five times, and there are 16 ounces in a pound. Now, you can come over to the side and work your multiplication. Five times six is 30, five, six, seven, eight is 80. So five pounds equals 80 ounces. All right, here's another easy example. Seven tons equals how many pounds? So we're gonna use this particular conversion and so we know that there are 2,000 pounds in a ton. So you can do this mentally. Two times seven is 14 with three extra zeros, right? So seven tons equals 14,000 pounds. All right. All right, so here's a couple more examples. We have a number with a decimal and we're changing nine and three tenths pounds to ounces. And so let's look at this first one. We're going to use the first um, conversion right here, pounds to ounces. So 9.3, and we're gonna multiply that times 16. I'm gonna go over here to the side, 9.3, and we're gonna multiply it times 16. So we're going to go over one decimal space. So in nine and three tenths pounds, there are 148 and eight tenths ounces. All right. So for this next example, we have seven and a half tons and we're going to convert that to pounds, tons to pounds. All right. So now we know that seven times 2000 and you can do that mentally, right? Seven times two is 14. And so that would be 14,000 and a half. Well, a half of 2,000 is 1,000, right? So plus another thousand would be 15,000. You could multiply this out though, if you w wanted to change it and say um, 2,000 times seven, 0.5 because seven and one half is seven and five tenths. And so you get the same answer. All right. All right, so remember when converting units of measure with weight in the customary system, use your conversion. And when you're going from larger to smaller, always multiply.